I'm going to harvest them. Uh, we had the last uh, storm last night. The other is rats, they don't want Last night we had some um, celeriac, we mashed with potato, and parsnip, carrots, and uh, some uh, Jerusalem artichoke, and uh, a few other things. It was really delicious, so I'm just going to sow again some of this celeriac that we have. It's a bit old seed, but 2015. I, I, I will just sow it. If it mm, didn't grow within the next two weeks, I will do another one later. The best time for sowing celeriac is around in March. It's now around the uh, um, spring equinox and toward late March so uh, first weeks of the April first week or 10 days of the April is the last time that we can do celeriac successfully so I'm just trying to do it now catch up with the season okay um, this is the packet of seed and I'm going to open it and sell As you can see, the seeds are quite tiny, so I'm not going to put them in a module. I just broadcast them in a um, seed tray. I just sprinkle it, then I will prick them out. You may have noticed when you try to sow some tiny seeds, uh, then covering with the soil, when you want to water them the first time, all the seeds get floated and they either go out of the growing area or just gather in one corner so I'm now watering this first then I will add the seed okay the compost is moist now and I will add the seed and I've now spread the seed in the seed tray it's a tiny seed tray and I'm going now to cover it with compost okay celeriac is now covered with a, com a little bit compost and I will leave it here until it grows. Plants like cabbage and celeriac take a long time to grow to harvest size. So when we have such a situation, the bed will be wasted if you don't use the space between the plants. So I'm using it now the space between this cabbage and the celeriac to grow something which grows quick and that is a spring onion Ishikora, this is this came with the kitchen garden magazine and uh, I'm trying to do a continuous uh, crop of this I saw one drill now and another drill later and we'll see how they will do this is a way to use the land uh, between the uh, long lasting crops and fast growing crops. Look at the beauty of this celeriac and it's yet September. Uh, I may harvest all the leaves for eating. And look at the beauty of this Persian crest. They're growing lovely. 
and oriental leaves. Uh, I will thin them and put some in the polytunnel when the tomatoes are finished. Look at the beauty of this scenario. A neglected part of, part of the allotment. And look, we have some beautiful sized uh, celeriac. There is a bigger one here. As you can sell it easily in the supermarket. <laughs> Look at the size. And this one. Oh. I have to put something under there. They look like pineapple. <laughs> Not a good size. Oh, not bad. Considering that growing the celeria is quite a challenge for many, as big as that. We have more there. I will just dig a few more. After so many years, you feel now that you can finally sit down and just enjoy the allotment. 